we are not well liked by many in our business. Many other bar owners look at us as the devil himself. But one of the questions I ask them at the end when I'm having a discussion with them, would you let your own children work in this industry for X amount of years, knowing what you know about smoking? And when they're honest, you can see in their face and hear in their responses. They get it. We welcomed the, the opposition. We welcomed the debate. Uh, we did not shy away from, from questions. And as a matter of fact, we viewed that as an opportunity to equip those folks with, with additional knowledge so that they can make an informed decision. I got anonymous Facebook messages that said, um, leave town, we don't like you, we want you to leave here. Um, I had someone who threatened to beat me up at the city council meeting. These people, they really don't care that people are dying. That's the, that's the shocker for me as a physician, that someone would not be a good Samaritan and try to do the right thing to help people. There's strength in numbers. There really is strength in numbers. So you can get through it. No, bad, no matter how bad it gets in your community, remember, remember the goal is saving lives. After I had my first meetings with the city council persons who actually shook my hand and walked me to the door and said, we're going to be behind you all the way. And then I got the emails. Oh, we've been talking around town and we don't think we can support you anymore. You know, that was a really lonely, very sort of a disappointing time for me. But I just decided that if I could prove that the majority was with us, that I would be able to get those votes back. A lot of it has come from our restaurants, any opposition. Uh, again, I've been called the Taliban for taking smoking rights away. You know, you take those individual hits. But on the whole, I think because we've laid the groundwork so firmly in science, in public health, that our opposition has been pretty minimal. Hey look, you elected like the official, 78% of the people in Buddha County want a smoke-free regulation. So here's your ammunition to say, if you want to move forward with this, you have the data, and the data is um, valid. Then there was threat that there would be a lawsuit by Buddha County People's Choice. They actually went to fiscal court, and they said their business was going to be harmed, and they said they want to protect property rights and people's rights to smoke. And they want a fiscal court to take up the banner to protect the citizens from Board of Health enforcing something like this. Well, we have had significant opposition in parts of the state. We have a very active Bluegrass Institute who uh, works very hard um, to try to convince folks that this is a, somehow an individual rights or a business rights issue, whereas in fact it's a public health issue. You have to kind of balance those liberties and that's in many ways what we ask our, our state and our, our government to do. You know, hey, step in and figure out, you know, whose liberty supersedes, you know, whose liberty may damage someone else beyond repair. And so we ask that of our government all the time. I realized then that I'd struck a nerve, but it seemed to work because then I got a lot of letters and a lot of encouragement from people thanking me. So from there, I continued to advocate in the newspaper with articles and go to Rotary Club meetings and things of that nature. So for 20 years, I've been trying to advocate for Smoke Free in Glasgow. After um, the regulation was passed and all those sorts of things, um, the people who were on the opposing side, some of the bar owners, some of the restaurant owners who were very vocal against, came out and, and really um, showed their um, appreciation for how the board listened to uh, their side and how actually it hasn't affected their business at all. You know, all these years, all the predictions of the gloom and doom and how business was, were going to close, it never came to pass and they actually, you know, had thanked us for, you know, what had been done.